Hello and welcome to part 3 of my Evercrawled Mercenary Let's Play. This is Vanna. Now, if you've been watching my Let's Play, you know you will probably notice some something's different. Like I have a whole bunch of different things here. And I have a new gun and a new laser. Well, that's because this is a different profile. It's a really long story. The story involves me completely fucking up my last attempt at trying to do this video. Basically, I recorded nothing and still saved. There's no way to revert saves in this game, so I just had to start over. So, I'm here and I'm gonna stick through this. Um,. I do have a whole bunch of shoutouts to um, subs, and since it's been so long, probably repeat some of them. I mean, I remember some of my subs, but L. Okay, and I will go ahead and apologize for m mispronouncing your name because I will do that. I can't read. It's L. Park R O thank you McNeely the BMX Bin eighty nine David KJ Bell Bottoms Canal Canal Yes um Nintendo Gamer who's actually a personal friend of mine Al Matty O three X Ray three and welcome. It's literally his channel name. Okay. Um, now, speaking of Nintendo Gamer, it's actually Nintendo Gamer 1124. We will be. We will. We will be doing a Let's Play of Minecraft. Yes, I play Minecraft. I play a lot of games. And you guys are. Um, eventually, I will get a Minecraft server up. And, you know, I have a lot of games, and you're welcome to friend me on Steam. I put a link to my Steam account in, on my f channel. Um, I have a lot of games. And then Friday, which is tomorrow, I will be recording some MechWarrior Living Legends, which is a Crisis Wars mod. And with that, I should be able to. Yeah, and I'll oh, I'll be recording Living Legends with um, Spawn, another personal friend of mine, and my clan. Not my clan, but I'm a member of the clan. Um, that's about it. Well, now that we've gotten the long, long introduction out of the way, let's go to available contracts, and this contract is a bitch. This is the fourth time I've done it, and I really don't have the ship to do it, but I can still do it. Um, yeah, I figured out some things the map which I'll show you after this contract is complete but I've also figured out quite a bit of stuff because I did end up doing um, at least one other story mission after this so I know the next what the next one is and what I have to do I have to clean a solar panel not very entertaining um, let's see yeah, I have done quite a bit of stuff just to get to this point in the game. As you noticed, I have a repair system 3 in version 3. I have a cargo scanner version 3. I have the third fulcrum drive, and I have the shield boost. Now, the shield boost I didn't have last time because I didn't think I needed it. I still probably don't. But I had the money, and I was like, why the hell not? 
so I got it. I also got the guns because I wanted some guns. And once again, why the hell not? Here, I'm actually gonna go this way. Let's see if we can turn my ship towards the camera. Yeah, see? That must be my opponent. But yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, lasers do mostly shield damage, while particle cannons do um, mostly hull damage. Now, some of them do have special effects, but we'll get into that when it comes to it. Now, I have to keep my speed around 80, or else that happens. He will run into you. And if you're behind him, or like to the side of him, that will actually push you out of the ring. And you're basically boned. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, this happened last time. And I am kind of tired because it's rather late. And that may be the reason why I'm not doing so well. Oh, and if you guys want to know more about me, like there's a comment asking if I had Asperger's. I don't have Asperger's. I have ADD. And what the fuck? I mean, seriously, I am so fucked right now. So we're actually going to load. Um. Exit. Hopefully it didn't save my progress right there. And just launch. And I gotta wake up. And it's not even that late when I'm doing this. It's 8.43. It's not even that late. I didn't have my medicine though this morning, so... Yeah. I'm gonna be a little ty tired. And slow. Hmm. Okay, now let's go ahead, and even though it's not very much fuel, oh, that's why I had to accept, Docking track to be disengaged. let's do this. But yeah, after this mission, I'll talk to you guys about some of the other stuff I found out. Like... Hmm, the map. Let's actually go ahead and show you what I found out. Here's the map. These things lead to another, uh, other systems, which I already knew. This, if I click on rear view, it flips it sideways. So I can more accurately plot my jump points, or my nav points, when I jump. It's really helpful. Um, that fraps can be a finicky asshole sometimes. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer about the cussing. I normally don't cuss this much. But I do cuss. Not to say I have anything against people who cuss. I cuss plenty. But I typically only cuss if I want to prove a point or, you know, get a point across. But yeah, this guy's kind of easy to outsmart because he's just sitting still. And as we should know by now, takes a little while to get up to a certain speed. But yeah, um, I know Billy the Crayon was waiting for this video before he did this mission. I totally suggest that you wait until you have a better ship. Because dear God, do you need it. You need a better engine than the, 
a basic one that you ha start out with. Wow, I'm actually talking a lot more than I have, and I've done this probably contributed to to the fact that I failed last time. So I'm gonna shut up a little bit and concentrate. Actually, I don't think the course changes. Like the layout of it, it doesn't change. The location does. And somebody also wanted me to fly into a star to mine it. You, I, I don't want to necessarily fly into a star, but if you get close enough, you can mine a star for the electrons or antimatter or something that come off of it. No, I don't really want to do that. You know why? Because it would serve no purpose for me. Now, if I had a fuel converter, then it would. Fuel, that's a good way to get some free fuel, especially if you have like a huge um, tank like I do. There's the end. There's the end. I can do it. I did it. Yes. Oh, fifth time it is the charm, apparently. Okay. Contract objectives done. Sorry, I'm yawning. Um, next, we will test your ability to clean a solar array, which requires controlling your ship while simultaneously maintaining a tractor beam. Travel to the nearby planet Ereto and dock at the station in close orbit. There, you'll find a contract for cleaning the array. You'll need a tractor beam for this assignment if you don't already have one. And they're often available at stations or trade cities in the system, but you may need to stop at a few to find one. Well, that's not really a problem because I have the uh, miner start, therefore, I start with the tractor beam, which I really don't know what the other starts give you. So, if you guys know that, um, feel free to enlighten me. Yep, there's the planet we're going to. Wait. I'm really careful that I'm not jumping too close to the planet. Quick save. Oh, and if this footage does not see the light of day and you guys don't hear this, yeah, I'll be skipping that mission. And I'm just going to roll with this save. So. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's go into navigation and autopilot. Wow, I'm really tired. I don't know why. Okay, sounds like we're slowing down. So I'm assuming we're there. Yep. Alright, I cancel the autopilot. Well, I yawned for like the fourth time. And I'd have to say I was pretty successful in plotting that jump point. I burned quite a bit of fuel in that race. Damn. Hate it when I get like this. Even though I shouldn't be tired. I was home sick today from school and slept almost all day. But I'll probably be going to bed soon after I finish recording this. And this will be a long recording. Because I haven't uploaded as much as I'd like to have, 
I'm gonna make this a long recording for you guys. For all ten of my subs. Yeah. So, I did announcements. Um. Announcing Living Legends. Minecraft. Um. Man, I'd love to do this game with someone else, too. Well, I'm tired, but okay. Um. And just slowly approaching the station. I've gotten quite a bit better at flying. Whoa. I want to be careful with that and not accidentally uh, make these guys uber mad at me. Docking track to be engaged. Anything good? Let's hope my mics don't pick up my dad downstairs laughing. That's God knows what. But here we go. Contract. Go ahead and accept the contract before we head out. Fill my fuel tank. Yeah. Ooh, let's see if they got a new cannon for me. Uh, missiles are stupid. At least that's what I've heard. I've heard missiles are stupid. Class 3 cannon. Mm. Class 4 cannon. Um, even though you guys didn't see it, I was basically talking to myself when I asked the question, but I asked what was the, what that C meant. That C up there by the Y, the Y is the yield or the damage, C is cycle, R is range. So yeah. Um, cargo scanners are really useful and cool. Help you know if, if you, you're gonna be like a pirate, you know. Help you know if that particular target has anything about you and is worth uh, killing. Okay, now I will probably end up cutting out the uh, cleaning of the solar array as I yawn again. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this solar array and I know. Ooh. Never seen one of these. Hold on. Never seen this kind of ship before. It has a low threat. Does it not have any cargo? Oh, I don't think I'm in range. Empty. Hmm. It's relatively odd. Oh. Damn. Oh. Lag. That should not happen on my computer. Oh, if you guys want me to, like, on my channel page, or just tell you what the specs of my computer are, I'd be more than willing to do that. Okay, I don't know why I'm so tired, and I apologize for yawning. Um, yeah, I'm going to mute my mic real quick while I fix and fuck with my headset. Oh, um, some good real life shit that's happening right now is when my dad went to I'll tell the story while I clean the solar array. My dad went to call me in this morning. Uh, since I live in Indiana, and if you live in the States, and you're tuned into anything that isn't, you know, a video game, then you know that, you know, Super Bowl's in Indiana this year. Well, yeah, since... Indiana's doing this NFL experience downtown. From all accounts, I've heard it's complete shit. 
so I don't know why everybody's taking off school to go do this. But by all accounts, um, the teachers are really starting to get pissed off that um, parents are calling their kids in sick so they can go to this NFL experience thing that's downtown Indianapolis. And my dad got some real shit from the uh, attendance office ladies, you know, because I stayed homesick with a migraine today, which I have, I, I have migraines before, and I did have a migraine today. I'm feeling better, though. Now, Grant, it's tomorrow. I am skipping school because I feel like it. My dad had originally planned to take us down to go to do the NFL experience, which I wasn't going to go to. I was just going to sit home and record like I'm doing now. Um, and I probably will do still. But, yeah. Apparently the attendance ladies in the office gave uh, my dad some shit for calling me in sick. But yeah, I've heard nothing but complaints about it. They'll spend $40 to go to this thing and then wait two hours per, like, activity. Hey, I did it. Per, like, activity. It just seems like a complete and utter you know, waste of time. Okay, let's see. Solar cells cleaned. Contracts paid. Yay, money. We need some additional resources out, out at Outpost 5 near Sapphire. Travel there and accept the contract to mine the asteroids surrounding the station. You're beginning to prove yourself valuable to the guild, and if you continue to do well, you'll soon begin. You'll soon be given some useful information that can pay very well. Keep up the good work. Ooh, does that mean we're gonna get a plot development? I hope so. I've been doing these pointless missions for a considerable sum of credits. Granted. And that would actually be my, one of my little brothers. Yes, I have two little brothers who look nothing like me. Literally, they're both black. And I am white as... Um, basically, I'm about as white as you can get. Seriously, I am. There's no denying my whiteness. Especially since I don't go outside very much. Yeah. Mm. And this build and deploy menus, you can build your own trade stations, constructors, research, energy, and or processors which I believe will make you money I trade stations well um, research stations are used to um, create R&D and raise the tech level of the sector trade just makes the sector better and with a trade station you automatically start out with a license for that station which you've seen those when I've landed those are expensive like a million and change deploy deploy energy stations, repair, sensor, field processor, shield array, and mining probe. Uh, energy station converts something into something else here. I have the, not the form, I need this, yes. I have the page up on my laptop. I use my laptop for information. Scroll up to relevant information okay I'm now at the top uh, deployable object energy stations fully recharge my main power cells repair stations restore my ship's subsystems and hell ar hell pull armor integrity yeah you can tell I'm tired um, fuel processors convert energy from my ships from your ships energy from your ships into a fuel in five unit intervals. Boost power to your ship's primary energy system to speed up the refueling process. Sensor stations um, basically help you lay down a sensor grid. Mining probes will automatically mine and you see this little distress call timer 
right there. Um, basically, oof, sorry, with your mining probe, you get the same thing, but once it times out, it pops out of the rock or the asteroid cave, wherever you put it, and deploys a whole bunch of boxes. Now, it's invisible until it does that. But as soon as it does that, it becomes visible so other players can pick up your stuff. Which isn't necessarily good. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, navigation. Um, okay. Let's go ahead, go there, and have the autopilot do that. A bit of fuel here. Okay. Navigation. Cancel autopilot. There it is. Oops. Derp. Yeah. I'm tired. I apologize. Uh, let's bring it to. And bring it to a full stop. So when I come out of the uh, jump hole, then I don't completely go like curse flat on this shit. Holy mother of God! Ah, must be an asteroid cave. Okay, get the station. Oh, that's a weird looking station. Hmm. Wonder what they have. Yes, I'm really just doing this randomly. Now this is what happens when I don't take my medicine. Okay. I've got that yawn out of the way. Let's boost. Come on closer. So as you can see, I'm constantly burning fuel right now to slow down. My ship's trying to keep up with my current acceleration and trying to keep it in one within the set bounds of my throttle. Yeah, see, I can still control my ship. I like that. It's just called out this one. Well, outpost one. You got anything good for me? Nope. <laughs> you don't got shit. There ain't shit good here. Navigation. Hmm. What's up? I know I've been there. Ooh. What kind of trade did you have in mind? I'm still curious what that joint fleet does. Like, if if it's a one-time payment, or do I have to keep paying them? When I have more money. I'll experiment. Now I do have to be careful that I don't smack into one of those ships when I'm jumping. Good, I did it. Let's hop over to navigation. Review.
that's definitely kind of harder than I expected to be. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, yes, everything is completely randomized when you start this game. Like the tech level and everything. So everything I got used to, and like I knew what stations had what, kind of. Yeah, that completely got messed up. I also think I started out with a lower um, relation to the energy people. Wow, platinum tanked. Metal went up quite a bit. But damn, that's the lowest I've ever seen platinum. Silent, sir. Scarce resources boost. Local mining markets. Yeah, I think you get either antimatter or fusion. Whoa! Destroyer right there. I almost ran into you. Sorry. Destroyer guy. Person. But, um. Yeah. all the time yeah probably the last time I'll do a recording session when I'm this tired okay let's see I'll probably go ahead and do this mission and then call it a session start rendering everything out oh and I do kind of have an intro now at least for this so if any of my subs are kind of artsy, you can design a cool like intro screen for me. That'd be really cool of you. And as a shout out right now to the people who are allowing me to use their awesome music, who I'm a huge fan of, Claypex. I'm using their um, song called Gain as my intro theme song. There will be in the description a link to them, like to their YouTube channel. They're really cool. I like them a lot. I literally have their um, album Loose Dirt on um, like repeat in my car. It's all I listen to, and that's all I have listened to since I got their album, since I found them from another really cool pe group of people. Corridor Digital have made some of the best best YouTube machinimas that I've ever damn seen. Um, their song Dubstep Guns uses one of Clay Pets' songs. Okay, there's a platinum we need, and then we need 25 of that. So I don't need to go to that uh, waypoint. I did one of these earlier, and I just don't need to. I'm getting some diamond, which diamond's worth a crap ton right now. I'm getting a lot of it quite fast. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut out right now. And I'll talk to y'all when we get back. Hello and welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty much full. I mean, I got a couple spaces for diamond and some metal. But as you can see, platinum's not worth very much, especially compared to diamond. I'm like, oh my god, that's the most I've ever seen diamond worth. I'm so happy that my voice just cracked. But I'm a man about this shit. This is America. Ah. Uh, okay. 
now that you've displayed the ability to control your spacecraft effectively, we'll see how you do with weapons. So, travel back to Evercron Station near Sapphire. There we will give you a contract to take out some asteroids clogging up a shipping lane. If you do well on this one, you'll receive a small payment and will offer the you the first piece of information on a beneficial hidden location cool beneficial I wonder what kind of benefits it provides money I like stuff that provides money maybe a cool ship ooh a cool ship would be nice mm hmm Okay, well, it does look like that will be everything for this episode of Let's Play Evercron Mercenary. Um, next time, we will go blow up some asteroids. Sounds like fun. I'll see everybody then. Um, have a nice day.